Good afternoon, I'm Brian Drake, VP of Sales with uh, Frost & Sullivan's Automotive Information Services Division. And I'm here with Vishwas Shankar, Program Manager at Frost & Sullivan. Vishwas, we're here at the 2016 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. Tell us a little bit about the themes coming off of CES last week, Consumer Electronics Show, and how those themes uh, come across into the uh, North American International Auto Show this week. Thanks, Brian. That's a very interesting question. Uh, I would say uh, what, what automakers are trying to do at the CES is very interesting. There were less a number of automakers in last year and the year before. There's growing interest with respect to how the automotive industry wanted to show its capability as a technology company uh, at the CES in terms of uh, taking a bigger pie out of the uh, not just the automotive industry per se, but also the overall mobility spectrum or the sphere, which Frost & Sullivan has been talking about for a very long time as industry leaders in that particular space. So we see uh, the likes of automotive companies like uh, Chevy, which is showing the uh, Chevrolet, which is showing the Chevy Bolt at the CES, uh, the unveiling of the production ready model. And around that time came the information about their partnership with a ride sharing company Lyft uh, and how uh, the Bolt could be itself the uh, vehicle that could be the interesting. Uh, the, 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 the child uh, for these two uh, as, as a part of the partnership and uh, we also see the likes of Ford announcing uh, a lot of their mobility experiments in terms of uh, how uh, even at the show over here how uh, it's not just automotive per se but also how automotive companies wanted to be technology leaders uh, within the within the space of mobility here uh, automotive companies did not want to lose their identity among the other automotive players here and Ford is among the biggest or the largest in terms of how an autonomous fleet I think they're going to even multiply three times or triple their fleet of automotive vehicles. Uh, they are the first to do in terms of how uh, autonomous vehicles are uh, testing on their uh, snow, snow, snowy roads or snow belt regions. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, those would pitch in. Uh, I would also quote in the Germans here in terms of how Volkswagen uh, kind of showed their uh, microbus concept, which is the buddy, in terms of their digital clusters, the likes of Faraday Future that are trying to unveil themselves uh, at the at the show at CES itself instead of choosing a platform like the Detroit Auto Show, uh, and and it'll be it'll be interesting to see this trend will continue in the next few years as well, and we will see that CES is more like or, or the Detroit Auto Show or the NAIS as a natural progression of what's going to happen at the CES itself. Thanks, Brian. Great insights, Vishwas. Thanks so much for your thoughts. Thank you. Bro.